Today is a special morning for two reasons. One, entire last week there was a heavy raining in the morning. So I miss my jogging. It's like missing when you practice it. And but today I was able to make it. After one week. And the second thing is today we have other release. Other release in the sense if you remember a uh, few months ago I did a video about we kind of refactor a module and we released and it was a very successful. And last during last weekend we made a other module refactor release. It is a major one and today is the first day the customer is going to see it. So I'm going to see and stay with the customer along with the team who did it to see how customer feel about our modification. So I thought this is a nice opportunity to tell you a story and teach you a lesson because most of the time as architects we messed up things due to social pressure social pressure in the sense we don't get the pressure from the society but we get the pressure always from the, our pms our managers and from uh, probably from the client how to handle it why we should not uh, make a decision under that pressure that is something i'm going to talk today not like last implementation i didn't involve directly this implementation I have two senior leads who we are ramping up as an architect and got one of them to handle this module along with the lead. So I let them to make the decision and I let them to make all the calls together because we can't forget the module lead or a tech lead who work on this module for years has the best knowledge about the module. Then why need the architect? Because they have other experience and knowledge about the design and the decision making. I only involve when they can make a decision or when they hit a roadblock because decision making is not something you can teach by book you have to experience it when they face a problem and when those two cannot solve the problem and then when they bring the problem to someone else to see how they solve the problem for example they hit a roadblock and they he, they can make a decision and they come to me and then I solve the problem and make the decision so then they can see how I make the decision and they can learn from them and they can uh, follow that on the next example or when when uh, same thing happen again. So that is the strategy we followed and somehow we successfully roll out. But there was a few milestones we need to discuss on this release so which is important to you when you become in the market. That's the main reason why I am talking about this today. Before I tell my story, I need to tell you two other stories. One story is going to 1977 and another story is going to 1982. The 1977 story, what happened was there was two flight collide to each other on the airport itself on runaway because of the bad weather. So what happened was the flight number one, which I don't remember the flight code, uh, was like landed to that airport due to bad weather uh, they couldn't reach the destination and then uh, people uh, passengers and the air crews and everyone was frustrated because of the long wait on the airport due to bad weather so they kind of had a pressure on the pilot and the pilot also had a pressure in mind now it's like so long i'm waiting on this airport and now i need to take this off and these passengers are waiting to see the families and so many pressure coming even though despite the co-pilot or as a first officer or as a junior pilot warning we should not take off the pilot disregard that and uh, try to take off the pilot uh, plane and then it collide with the other incoming plane and cost 583 lives on board it's tragic accident the second incident also a similar incident that have this happened 1982 this flight also delayed due to various reason and was bad weather in the winter and then there was a huge pressure coming from the passengers as well as the cabin crew also from other various sources due to these flight delays then without like cleaning out the snow properly the pilot de decided to take off the flight and this time also co-pilot was keep four times warning uh, according to the NTSB reports uh, it's warning to the pilot we should not do make this decision but despite that he made the decision due to the snow on the wing flight crash landed to the river to a river with uh, cost four lives uh, of people who was even on the bridge so these two accidents this tells us clearly how social pressure or as the pressure coming from the around uh, influence into our make our decision and how those decisions go, can go bad 
when we come to this our release story this release was originally planned to re, uh, release on 25th of may with our previous release what we discussed in the one of our previous video let's say that a release a and this is a release b we realize due to various reason release b getting dragged and probably some uh, bugs some uh, data dependency some uh, architectural decisions due to that we saw the release b is impacting on the release a so that time we made a call no we are not going to uh, really make this release together we are delaying this release by one month so then we realized team missed certain functionalities on estimation so we can make the release so then that time we had a problem because we one time we already postponed the release date so now everyone was hesitating okay what to do we collectively make the decision no we are not going to make a, a release with this problem we are going to talk to the client we went to the client, we explained and we admit our mistake. Client was not happy, but he understood and he agreed. So then we got the other release date. For, because this is not just a release, this need more than 10 million data migration from existing data to the new system. Today, users see some data coming from a previous system and tomorrow users are supposed to see the same data on a new system we can cost we can have any single data discrepancy because this is a million dollar business one data mismatch can cause catastrophic failures on the business we, we can uh, make that happen so we decide okay we need more time so my point is this every single time when the team sees they cannot make it they comes to me saying Krish look we have a problem we need your support then why what is the problem look we made a mistake we underestimated we are not stable we have these bugs we need more time to figure it out why and we have this problem the data is not coming accurately we have this problem during the data migration script we figured out the data we are fetching are wrong so they admit their mistake they didn't try to hide it they knew that admitting the mistake is not easy and then uh, the, that problem and the fall come on them and they are, they are causing a problem to delay the release and so and so they knew everything but despite they knew everything, they came and talked to me, say, Krish, we need more time. We need more time. We need more time. We planned this to mid of August again. And then we hit a problem that during the data migration, we realized we doing this data migration pattern is wrong. So due to that, we are duplicating a lot of data. And then I wanted more time. But then PM start to say, no, we can do that, Krish, because we committed to the client multiple times. Then we can go back and say, no, we must somehow do it. But there is nothing called somehow doing in, in software engineering world because we can somehow do something. I mean, we can somehow release because PMs are committed to release. So it is their type uh, deadlines, right? So when we release, they achieve their deadline. But we are making a faulty release. So when we're making a faulty release, we make PMs life uh, happy because they meet their deadline. But we make our life miserable because we have sent in something to fault into the production and that causing million issues. So even I couldn't handle the new pressure because uh, they, the pressure makes sense because I myself involved to push back this like four times. Now I can go and fifth time to talk to the client saying, I need more time. So I made a different strategy. I said, okay, look, we are going to release this on say date with, uh, without any delays but two functionalities we need to sacrifice that mean there are two functionalities which is available already available in the version one will not directly available on the version two then client said no you can do it then i said wait i have a workaround it is not that users are completely blocked we can release this and the users can use the functionality but this functionality may have a few missing pieces of the data but there are workaround users has a different module different ui you can go there and see the data then client was okay it's just okay it's fine see always we need to go to the client with not with the problem also with the solution right because we need to tell you have two choices we need to put on the table you have two choices either i will deliver the complete system but i need this much of time or I will deliver the system in the same date without a delay, but we need to compromise few functionalities because you need to understand there is nothing called somehow delivery because we are delivering some features and functions to production. There are other users using it. We can make our life easy by sending something and make many people's life miserable by sending something forward. Don't do it. If you see you need this, this much of time and if it's that justifiable, justify the time and confirm to the user, confirm to the client saying, 
I need this time. Then tell why you need this time. Then let them to make the decision and then give a solution. What you can, because what are the functional days you will not deliver when you're making this delivery. So with all those waves and challenges, so somehow we made a successful release. Few success things, few reasons to success this release. One is right right time we make the call, this is not going to work. Without waiting to the last minute, the team came to me saying, Look, Krish, I need more time. Look, Krish, we have this problem. Two, they didn't hide anything. Even though they are fault, they admitted we made a mistake. I made a mistake. So and then we we discussed that okay in future we are not making this mistake and be a career move. they didn't think okay I, I my career will feel bad and my responsibility will feel bad and my next review will be go uh, less like no will not good when if I admit this mistake no they didn't consider that any of these but they consider to deliver something good into the production and third thing is the communication to the client uh, bef without waiting for the last minute so Customer can because as we have a plan, customer also has plan. So then he can adjust his plan when we make our plan, uh, when we have a, make our communication properly. So what I want to tell you is, do not make the decision just because of your PM pushing you, just because of a manager pushing you, just because of your customer pushing you. Okay, Ex because you are the professional on the field. Explain them why you can do it with the justifiable reasons, and also give the solution for them. If you want this. I need this much of time if you need on this date this is what i need to sacrifice because you are the professional when you push something to the production make this call effectively and professionally with the facts and why you need to make it it's a technical decision end of the day i hope you learned something and talk to you soon in next video stay safe take care